If you are looking forward to starting a tutorial channel in 2024, you must watch this video. Hi everybody Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So I've been making tutorials for the past 6 years and here are some things that I've learned that I want to share with you in case you are considering starting a tutorial channel. First off, making tutorials is great. It has really helped me a lot but there are some pros and cons and if you are considering starting a tutorial channel, being it graphic design, web design, video editing, coding, any type of tutorial that you are looking forward to. Starting a channel, you can apply these principles and the things that I'm going to talk about in this video. Basically, I'm going to narrow it down to the challenges that comes with starting a tutorial channel and how you can solve them and how you can utilize making tutorials into making profits. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. The first point that I want to talk about is identifying your niche. Generally, making tutorials is very difficult, especially when it comes to reaching out to audience, which I'll talk later in this video. So one thing you need to consider when starting out a tutorial channel is picking up the niche that you want to. What do you want to do? Who are your targeted audience? And what is your plan? You need to have a vision for your channel. You don't need to just start up making tutorials. You are going to get burnout along the way. You need to pick a niche and, and an audience in order to be focused on them and then provide the things or the tutorials that they are looking for. Point number two, you need to stand out from the crowd. When you pick a niche like graphic design, for instance, there are so many channels that are trying to teach graphic design, which makes the whole niche very saturated. You need to find something that will make you stand out. Now, if you are looking forward to starting a channel along the lines of say graphic design, you need to experiment into the market, experiment into other people's channels, and you need to come with a fresh perspective. By doing this, you are creating a style for yourself and then you are creating a whole market or a whole niche for yourself. Many people have been doing so many things from different perspectives and you need to come from a different angle else you are just going to blend into the many things that people are doing. For instance, when I started making videos, I was trying to just replicate many videos that other big creators like Pixel Perfect and the likes of um, Photoshop channel. The big Photoshop channels that I'm talking about, they have done. By doing this, you are basically just compressing yourself under them because they've already covered the topic and people are going to look, watch their videos rather than you. What you need to do then is to come from a different angle, find new things that people have not covered and try to make them. By doing this, you're going to stand out from the crowd and then you are going to create a whole style for yourself. One of the most difficult parts about making tutorial channels is the monetization part, which is one of the main reasons why I'm making this video. Monetizing tutorial channels are the hardest because many people like yourself and myself don't really watch tutorials to the full. Hardly would you see people watching tutorials step by step for like 40 minutes tutorial online. Unlike vlogging where people wouldn't want to download, many people like us, like you, like myself who started out would want to download a tutorial and watch later, which is going to limit your watch time, limit your view, and then automatically limit the amount of money that you are going to make. Wait a minute! In that sense, when you are starting out a tutorial channel, you'd want to diversify your income streams. There are so many ways you can diversify your income streams when you are making tutorials. I know people have covered a lot of them, but most of them include making digital products, going into affiliate marketing, or linking your external website or external platforms like myself working on Fiverr through your videos. Of course, there is the brand sponsorship part and the partnerships, which you can actually enter into later on when your channel is a bit big. But then when you are starting out, you need to make sure that you are not only relying on income streams like the YouTube ad revenue. By doing this, you are going to basically crush yourself. You need to diversify. You need to enter into things like affiliate marketing or the most simplest one, put your external website in your descriptions. Let me tell you a story about how I make money on Fiverr. When I make tutorials, you can check the description of my videos. I have the gigs on my Fiverr that relates to that video. I post it in that description. When people watch that video and they are interested and need people to work on their flyers or their designs for them, they reach out through that link on Fiverr and then I get to work with people. In this case, I don't only rely on YouTube ad revenue or the fact that people are not really watching full tutorials and downloading them, which will affect your views 
and your watch time and eventually your ad revenue now enough about the money parts let's get back into the track if you are trying to get into your tutorial making channel one of the ways that you can really get into the space is staying ahead of the curve there are so many things like software updates if you are doing photoshop tutorials photoshop releases new versions every single year if you really want to get into the game you need to be up to date with these things Unfortunately, if you are living in a country like mine, you most probably wouldn't have access to a lot of things that comes earlier. So you may most likely be affected with this. But then if you are living in places where you get the things as it comes, you may want to stay ahead of the game. Once the software you are using releases new updates, you cover it. Once there is a new feature, you cover it. In this way, you are most likely going to make it into the first few things or the first tutorials that comes up when people are searching for new features in softwares. The next point that I want to talk about is building a sustainable future with making tutorials. Making a tutorial channel is a journey filled with challenges. There are so many things that I've covered in this video that you are going to face. But then you need to stay committed, you need to stay consistent, you need to stay authentic and most importantly you need to be passionate about whatever you are going to start or whatever you are going to create on this channel. I've covered in one of my videos about how staying passionate about whatever you want to do and loving what you do is going to take you along this journey but if you want to build a very sustainable tutorial channel and transform that into making or an income stream you may want to stay committed to what you're doing and passionate about the things that you are creating on your channel above all one thing you need to know is that you don't want to make the channel all about tutorials you need to infuse a bit of personality into it that is one thing that i'm recently trying to do as constantly making tutorials on your channel gets boring because apparently when people start watching tutorials over and over again from your channel it sometimes get boring you can attest to this fact if you keep watching one creator for so long the person's automatically starts becoming boring and that is why as a creative and you want to create a tutorial channel you may want to infuse a bit of personality into it in this case you are not only trying to provide solutions or through your videos you are also trying to share part of your personality or a part of your wins and your losses with your audience which in turn is going to help you build a very formidable and a strong audience yeah so those are some tips that you may want to consider if you are looking forward to starting a tutorial channel especially something like a graphic design tutorial channel because that is my field and that is the perspective I came with these points that you may want to consider and then regardless of the niche that you are trying to pick I strongly believe that putting this point into consideration would help you establish a very strong tutorial channel that you are going to be able to transition or transform that into other income streams and maybe a business in the future i'll be getting value out of this video and let me know in the comment section if you have any other advice or if you are a creative who runs a tutorial channel and you have any and you have any other hey ruffle and you have any other advice for other creatives looking forward to start a tutorial channel in this era Thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video. I hope to catch you in the next video, preferably a tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.